Hello guys, today we are gonna send an email with the email connector module. The first thing we need to do is we are gonna install the fake SMTP server. The link you will find in the description. We're gonna start it also so we can receive mails from this server. That's been set. Now we're gonna install the email connector. The first thing we need to do, we have to need three modules. The email connector module, the encryption module, and also the MX reflection module. We are also going to install the file dropper widget so we can implement files in our mail. So we have implemented those three modules as you can see here. We have installed the email connector module, the encryption module and the MX reflection module. Now we have to enter the encryption key because it is needed for our mail to be set up. The encryption key is 32 characters long and may have random values. Now we have set up our encryption key, now we are gonna do our security, the security tab, the user role, administrator, like that, okay, admin, extraflection module, also the administrator. So now we have set our roles, we are gonna solve now our uh, widget problems, we have resolved those the next thing we're gonna do is look at our domain model i have already made everything in advanced so that we can work faster i will explain over there in the video how it works i have made a domain model i have two tables a table with forms with four attributes in this table i have access rules uh, the user the user can create new objects and delete existing objects. The user have also read and write permissions for those attributes. And we have another table, the attachment table. This is a generalization of the file document system. And here we have also set the access rules for a user. So the user can upload a document. You will also see a line. This line is an association. What this one says that one form can contain multiple documents. That is our domain model. Now we're going to set up our technical admin page. Our technical admin page. We will add MX reflection overview. And we are going to add the email connector page. Now we have set up our admin page. Now we're gonna run our project. Click save. And you will see here the buttons. The first thing we need to do is to synchronize our tables and attributes in the application with the MX reflection module. If you don't see your tables, first click on the click refresh button and then it will appear. Now we are gonna set our email account. Click to get started, use basic credentials. Then our name, Master Mendix. Our password, for example, 123. It's not so important, you can set a random password. We click now next. Okay, we click send emails. We set our protocol. Protocol is the local host. We're gonna use the local host with port 25. We'll see it here. Listing port 25. And we click finish. And now we have set our email account for sending mails. Back to the modeler, we are going to create an after startup microflow. We can do it simple here. Go to the app, to the settings in our runtime, and here we select our after startup. I have already created one. I'm gonna select it. 
in this after startup you see a microflow this microflow create an email template we are going to explain the email template we're gonna create a name for the email template we're gonna do it here i have it named notify form then we're gonna retrieve this yeah we're gonna first check or it is exist or not exist if it exists they don't need to create it again so then we go here but for us we're gonna create it here we're gonna initialize and we're gonna retrieve that if the attribute is found then go to true you're gonna log a message then we're gonna retrieve a list from this list and the mix objects types the members we do four finds to find the attributes for example we're gonna click the object member first name open uh, in this list member attribute name we want to find the attribute first name this is for the other three uh, the same and we create a token list so that we can implement it in the email template afterwards i will create a token uh, the prefix is this first name is this the suffix is this description is the name and token type is from token type attribute and this are an uh, associations with the uh, mx type form and the mx the object member first name that we have found at the beginning of the microflow we're going to add it to the token list the same for name the email and the question then we commit the token list and here we're gonna create the template in this template we're gonna uh, say which template name it is we use the variable that we have set in the beginning of the microflow then to the form at mastermindexpert.com here is the email in the form you will set a uh, email that's that it will come here from this place name here comes the name and the first name the subject our current date we set our current date the content of the mail is this so with the heading one and the name and first name is on the name and first name that's that comes from the token list and our question come also from the token list uh, we set or use only plain text or plain body uh, and the references then we are going to create another message saying that the template has been created that is how i create the email template now we are gonna set up our form so that the user can send an uh, email to the server i have created one what this will do i have you create a data view in this data view i have created a microflow in this microflow they will create a form then i will set up the attributes and also the file dropper widget in this file dropper widget i have identified our form or table the name attribute is the file document name and also the association to our form that is important that you put this here we're gonna also set our um, send button to a microflow to act choose email template in this microflow we will create a template name i have set it to the notify form we have created this template in our after startup then we're gonna retrieve our email accounts we're gonna then uh, go to this microflow in this microflow we're gonna retrieve the template name we have set it in the previous microflow the email message you can find it in the email connector module you're gonna retrieve the list of attachment that we're gonna have in our mail we have also sub microflow is also one from the email connector module this microflow we're gonna set our file document list and our email message and then we're gonna send our mail to our server and if succeeded we're gonna show a pop-up that will say you have complete the form and successful send to master mendix gonna run it again and then we're gonna log in in our uh, website we have demo users set demo user this is our form in our form we're gonna say that and 
I'm gonna put in a document, lorem ipsum, and I'm gonna send it to the server. If we look at our SMTP server, you will see the mail from Tim Putt Smith to Master Mendix. You're gonna click on it. This is the mail we sent through our form. You'll see Smith Tim from Master Mendix, and you will see also our document here. Also, you will see the Smith Tom and the question, how are you? So this was my first video. Hit the like button, subscribe, put on the notifications. If you have any suggestions what I should include next time, let me know in the comments. And for now, I will see you in the next one.